Hi guys, as of recording this video there is only 83 days till I leave for Portugal to cross the Atlantic aboard Fiona and I am of course super stoked. I'm going to bring some gear along with me and I want to show you some of that gear and this video is about one particular piece of gear and uh, that's this little guy. And this video isn't going to be a full blown review, I'll do one of those later on. This is just going to be a quick look at what promises to be an awesome device. This is the Delorum Inreach SE. It's a two way satellite communicator and tracker. That means that you guys will be able to keep tabs on my position live as I cross the Atlantic and also I'll be able to post short text messages while we're on the way. And surprisingly, it's not all that expensive. There are a few different companies out there that offers products that are similar to the InReach SE. The closest thing is probably the Yellow Brick Tracker. It has basically the same features as the InReach SE, meaning it offers tracking and two-way messaging. One step down the feature ladder is the Spot Messenger, which will track your progress, but it only allows one-way messaging. Now I knew I wanted two-way messaging, so for me the choice came down to either the Yellow Brick Tracker or the InReach SE. What ended up being the deciding factor in my case was price. The price of the InReach SE is about a third of the initial cost of the Yellow Brick Tracker. When looking at the display of the InReach SE, I can't help but flash back to the cell phones I had in the late 90s. Navigation is done using this four-way pad and these two buttons and that works really well. What it can be a little bit daunting is inputting text on the device itself. As you can see here, I can post messages to Twitter. I can also send a message to my cell phone, but uh, for this test, let's just go ahead and send a message to my cell phone. So I'll go type reply and I'll type hi guys. So I'll go H I and there's a shortcut. When you push the arrow to the right, you'll get a space and then we'll go guys. So that's G. You and S. Okay, let's hit OK to send. As you can see, it's sending. Now, that would have been a lot easier to type on my iPhone. And the message is sent. This is what the text message looks like on my iPhone. There's the text there, hi guys, and then there's a link. The link shows the position of the InReach SE when the text was sent. As you can see, the InReach SE will allow me to post tweets. It can also post to Facebook or Delorum's own site called MapShare. Those of you who follow my Twitter or my Facebook page might have noticed I did a few tests last week. What the InReach SE won't allow me to do is to actually read or reply to any comments on anything I've posted on either of those sites and that is a little bit of a shame but hey, that just means I'll have a lot of awesome comments to look forward to once I actually have access to the internet again. The primary reason I bought the InReach SE was tracking but the ability to post to Facebook and Twitter was a very close second. Luckily the InReach SE can be paired with a smartphone and then you can use an app called EarthMate to amongst other things send and receive messages. And this is going to be so much easier so uh, let's just go ahead for the sake of this test to post something to my uh, Twitter here. So we'll go new video do in a few hours and a smiley face and send. Now that was so much easier than typing it out on the inReach itself. I also want to show you the tracking feature on the SE. Let's head into settings, choose tracking and here we can choose how often the uh, inReach SE will post an automatic position report. We can choose between 4 hours and all the way down to 10 minutes. I'll just leave it at 4 minutes because, well, I'm not really driving a race car here, am I? So uh, let's head out to the main menu, choose tracking, and uh, here we can then choose start. So you can see that in 4 hours we'll uh, send a position report. Last week I set the InReach SE up to post a position report every 4 hours. The battery died after about 2.5 days. 
depending on how easy it's going to be for me to charge the devices aboard Fiona, I might just manually turn on the device once a day and post a position report that way, but uh, we'll see. There's one additional awesome feature I want to mention, and uh, that's this little SOS button here. You might be wondering what's so awesome about that button. Well, I know a guy that lost his keel as they were crossing the Atlantic. They wound up in the life raft, the boat sank, but luckily they had a sat phone with them, so they were able to call for assistance. Now, while I'm crossing the Atlantic aboard Fiona, I'll have a PLB attached to my life jacket, but the thing about a PLB or an EPIRB is that it won't actually let you know that someone has seen that you've actually triggered the device. So I guess that doubt will sort of be nagging at you the whole time and that doesn't sound good in an emergency. So if I push this button, I'll essentially be chatting with another human on shore. And yeah, I think being stuck out in the middle of the Atlantic, that feature is gonna be priceless. Before ending this video, I want to mention the cost of using the InReach SE. You're required to have a plan in order to be able to use the device. For someone like me that isn't a full-time cruiser yet, they have a Freedom Plan, which has a yearly fee of $25. Now, for the months that you're actually using the device, you can then choose between four service plans. And uh, I think for the trip across the Atlantic, I'll splurge on the Expedition Plan. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the InReach SE, so uh, leave a comment down below. Well, it's getting kind of late here, guys, so uh, I'm going to stop this video here. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. See you! Yerkul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.